Okay, here's how we do a contour drawing in After Effects. So after you've done your blind contour drawing, you import it into After Effects. Go File, Import, File. Navigate to where you saved your drawing and bring it into the project window. If you drag that into a composition window, it'll create a new composition, but your composition won't be the right size. So go to Composition Settings and make sure you are using HDTV 1080 29.97 frames per second and 10 seconds is a good duration for this. Click OK. Now as you'll see with the right composition size my drawing's way too big so I need to go down here in my twirl down menu and transform the scale to fit it into my composition. You may also need to rotate it um, if you drew it in landscape or portrait so you can change the scale and rotation as needed. So now the fun begins. You use the pen tool to trace your drawing. So make sure you have this layer selected because you want to draw a mask on this layer. You don't want to draw a new shape. So do a better job at drawing than I'm about to do, but I'm just doing this for brevity. Um, I'm going to trace my drawing. Um, like I said, you'll do a much better job. And don't worry if your drawing's not perfect because you're just using this um, sketch as a reference point. Eventually your drawing's going to be transparent. So when I've drawn that successfully, what I've done is made a mask onto that layer. So now I want to generate a stroke onto that layer. So if I go to Effect, Generate, Stroke, it gives me the Stroke menu. So right now the color of my stroke is white. Um, white on white background isn't great. Um, so I'm going to change this to uh, I'll change it to bright red for now. And you'll see when I change the brush size, you can see that it actually has added a stroke to my image. Um, I'm also going to want to change paint style to on transparent. So that gets rid of my original drawing, and all I have left is the mask that I outlined. So now we need to animate this. Um, You'll see if I change the start and or end points, I can use the slider, it undraws and then redraws. And um, depending on which of these values I change, it'll de um, decide which end it starts from and ends from. So I think I want it to start at the ear. So it looks like if I change that value to zero, it'll start at the ear. And as it goes to 100, it draws on. So. I want to make sure that at the beginning of my timeline, this value is zero. And that's going to change, so I need to add a keyframe. If I click on the stopwatch, that adds a keyframe. So that tells me at the beginning of the timeline, the value for this stroke is zero. And then say I want it to be, I don't know, seven seconds long. I can move uh, to seven seconds in the timeline and change that value to 100. And that adds a second keyframe. So when it plays, um, it will animate between those two values and those two, two keyframes on different places on the timeline. Um, I'm almost done, but I can have a little more fun with uh, changing the colors and the appearance. Um, let's take a look at that in real time. Voila, looks good. Um, so, if I want to change the color of the stroke, I can just go in here to my brush color palette, click on that, and uh, change it to any color I want. Um, if I want to change the background color, I need to add a new solid layer. So if I go layer, new solid, I can pick a whatever color layer. Okay. Right now my layer is on top of the stroke, so I can't see it. So I just drag it underneath. Now I have a different color. Um, don't like those colors together. They're kind of ugly. So instead of making a new layer, I can just highlight my solid layer and add a layer style. Um, layer styles will let me add things like drop shadow, inner glow, outer glow, um, stroke, color overlay. So if I go to color overlay, um, I can expand this menu down here where my solid is and change that color uh, swath right there and change it to any color I'd like. Um, cool, so I'll pick that color. And again, if I want to change the stroke, I can go back here and change the stroke color to anything I like. Um, I can also add layer styles to the layer with the stroke on it, like a drop shadow. So go layer styles, 
drop shadow. Now I'll have a menu for my drop shadow. A lot of menus, a lot of twirl, twirl down menus, good and bad. But my drop shadow will have a menu where I can uh, change the distance of my shadow from the original. I can change size, which makes it blurry or less blurry. I can change the opacity. Um, so if I get a little subtle shadow, I'm not too far away, kind of gives it this cool 3D-ish look. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. I could, uh, I, you know, I could add images in the background. I could add other things, but that's how you animate your contour drawing and add layer styles to add drop shadow and change colors. Um, last thing to do is to export it. So that's file, export, add to render queue. Um, I like to change output module from lossless to H.264. Click OK. Output 2. I'm going to give it a, a little uh, a more customized name. I'll call it C. Roscoff Contour and put it on the desktop. Save. Hit render and it will render you out a beautiful movie. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing yours.